What's up, I'm Troubleshoot. If you're like me or plenty of other people, when trying to play the Battlefield 6 open beta, you've got a problem. Of course, this problem will still exist in the full release. If you see this error, can't launch the game because of auto hotkey, and you know what auto hotkey is, you made a script, it's easy enough to just right click exit. If you're like anyone else on the internet, you downloaded a program that reacts to key presses or mouse presses, and either mutes your mic, moves windows around, and things like that. A lot of programs out there have used auto hotkey in some way or another and either don't say anything about it or it's not the first thing that comes to mind. This very unhelpful anti-cheat error tells you to go and find auto hotkey and close it. I've seen a couple of different Reddit posts with tons of steps and info, downloading other programs, looking through imported DLLs and strings for anything that points you to auto hotkey and a lot of these are really, really needlessly confusing. I even got a post on my Techno account switcher asking if I used auto hotkey because it popped up in one of the files. Well, the reason from this user's error was a program that, when you hold a key, it mutes your mic. Regardless, it's very annoying to try and find what the anti-cheat is unhappy with. So I've gone ahead and created a fully open source, over-engineered solution to this very simple problem. All you need to do is just run one line of code. This tiny program is downloaded. It checks through all of the running processes for anything that points to auto hotkey. Then it tells you these programs might be using auto hotkey. Do you want to close them? Yes or no? And bam, just like that, you can get into Battlefield 6, 5, 1, or whatever the game is complaining about auto hotkey. So in order to actually use this project, you can either download it from the GitHub page down below, or the much easier way is using another open source project of mine, tc.ht. All you need to do is hit start, type in PowerShell, right click this and choose run as administrator. While you can run it as not admin, it won't be able to check through all of the running processes and may miss something that uses auto hotkey. So running it as admin should make it a little bit easier. All you need to do is copy the command from down below, IEX space inside of brackets, IRM, ahk.tc.ht. This connects to my open source website and downloads a very simple script. You can visit this website in a browser by heading across to that link and it opens up over here. You can view it on GitHub or, of course, this. I've tried to make this as transparent as possible, so there's nothing to worry about. Once you hit enter, it downloads this tiny program, finds the latest release, and then opens it. There you have it. Whether you downloaded it from the releases section here or ran that very simple one-line command, you'll be here. The Troubleshoot AHK Finder. This program scans through processes running on the system. It doesn't scan memory, so it shouldn't make anti-cheats angry. It just finds the file version info and checks out the actual files on the disk. While it shouldn't trigger anti-cheats, it's a good idea to make sure any games with anti-cheats are completely closed. So close Battlefield 6, Counter-Strike, or anything else. When you're ready, hit Y, and this will immediately start scanning through all of the running processes on your computer. Very quickly, you can see that it's completed. It couldn't scan a few processes that's fine, but it did find auto hotkey running because I do have a script running and it found mic mute, which is that program I mentioned earlier. All that you need to do is hit zero to kill all auto hotkey processes or you can enter specific numbers from above. I'll hit zero and then enter and just like that, these two processes are closed. Now we can press any key to quit, head back to Steam, play and Battlefield 6 should start up just fine. No editing, nothing, it should just work and eventually you'll hit the main menu. So there we have it. My resolution's just wrong here, but obviously the game launched fine. And after a short queue, fixing my resolution, we're on the main menu of Battlefield 6 and we can get to playing. So obviously this very simple program is made to make your life a lot easier. I've made it open source so you or anyone else can go through, check the source code and double check my work. Obviously this thing's not perfect. It mainly just searches for auto hotkey if it's running and checks to see if programs are listed as using auto hotkey in their version information. And most auto hotkey programs will report something like this in them. This should catch the majority of issue causing programs, but of course it's not perfect. It'll skip things like Corsair IQ, LG Hub for Logitech, things like that that could be running scripts and could be causing issues. But of course, if you find a program that isn't being detected, please do let me know down below and I can very easily update the script or you can create a pull request or issue to update it yourself if you know what you're doing and we can make this process a whole lot easier. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully you found this script super useful. I know that a lot of non-tech savvy people will and that's that. You'll find everything you need linked down below. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.